Hello everyone, the Big Easy Chef here. I'd like to show you how you can cook the best fried chicken ever. I've taken every method and ingredient to make this juicy, tender, moist, tasty, crispy fried chicken. Once you try this recipe, this is the only fried chicken you'll ever want in the future. So let's not waste any more time. Why don't you and I run into that kitchen and see what's a shaken and get to bacon. Start with a large plastic bag and place it into a container. I'm placing a breast still attached to the bone. It's been cut into half. I have a drumstick, a bone in thigh, and a wing. I rinsed this chicken with cool water and dried it off with a paper towel. I'm going to add more chicken parts to the bag. I will end up with 16 pieces of chicken. This is going to be a lot of fried chicken. Okay, with all the chicken parts in the bag, it's time to add buttermilk to the bag. Pour just enough buttermilk to cover the chicken. Now add one tablespoon of kosher salt. Okay, now add a little more buttermilk to help dissolve the salt. Close the bag most of the way. Then try to get as much air out of the bag as you can. Now seal the bag shut. Give the bag a good shake or two. I have the bag sitting in the bowl just in case it leaks while it's sitting in the refrigerator. I ended up with using two gallon sized bags for the 16 pieces of chicken. Place the chicken in the refrigerator for 24 hours. Okay, now it's been 24 hours. It's time to get the chicken ready to fry. You want to drain and rinse off the chicken. The buttermilk and salt has done their job. Pat dry your chicken. A paper towel works perfect for this job. If you noticed, I tuck the wings together. All of my chicken parts are about the same size. In a bowl, add five tablespoons of granulated garlic powder, five tablespoons of onion powder, two tablespoons of paprika, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper, one tablespoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. Give this spice mixture a good mix with the spoon. This may seem like a lot of spice, but it's going to work out perfect. And remember, we're frying 16 pieces of chicken. In a large bowl, add six cups of bread flour. It's important to use bread flour. To the flour, add one third cup of baking powder. Give this mixture a good stir to blend the flour and baking powder. Add about, oh, two cups of the flour mixture to a large plastic bag. Close the bag and give it a couple of shakes. With your chicken parts all rinsed off and dried, place them in a large bowl and cover them with your spice mixture. Don't be shy using this spice mixture. Now toss the chicken parts around to coat all of the parts. Allow your chicken to set in the spice mixture for at least five minutes. In another bowl, add egg whites. I like using the ones that come in the carton. You could separate eggs. Also, egg beaters will work just fine. It is important to use just the egg whites. This is the one thing that's going to make your chicken light and crispy. Start with adding about one cup of the egg whites. You can add more as you need. Okay, now take your spice coated chicken parts and add them to the bag of flour mixture and give them a good shake or two. You want to coat all of the chicken. Make sure the flour is everywhere on your chicken parts. With your chicken coated with flour, remove from the bag shaking off any excess flour and place it in the egg whites. Make sure to coat all of the chicken with the egg white. Place the coated chicken in the bowl of flour. Coat all of the chicken with the flour. And then remove from the bowl. 
It's best if the chicken sets in the coating for at least five minutes or longer. This will allow the coating to stick to the chicken. Okay, now you can fry the chicken in a deep fat fryer, that's what I'm going to use, or a large pot with a thermometer. I like frying things in canola oil. You can use any high heat oil you would like, such as peanut oil, corn oil, etc. Stay away from using low heat oils, such as olive oil. Heat your oil to 330 degrees Fahrenheit, gently and slowly. Lower the chicken into the oil away from you. Be careful not to splash, as the oil is very hot. I have the basket in the down position, as this will prevent the chicken from sticking to the basket. As you can see, the chicken isn't completely covered with oil, so you'll be frying the chicken for 8 minutes on one side, and 7 minutes on the other side. Now it's time to turn over the chicken. Can you hear that chicken frying? What a nice sound! Remove the chicken from the oil and turn over each piece. Now lower the chicken back into the oil and allow the chicken to cook for 7 minutes. You want your chicken to have an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. You can always check the temperature with an instant read thermometer. Okay, now the seven minutes has passed. Your chicken is done. Remove it from the oil. A breast, a drumstick, a thigh, and a wing. Can you see how crispy this chicken is? Oh, it's going to be so juicy, moist, tender, tasty, and did I already say crispy? A word on draining the chicken. I like to drain fried foods on a rack so the oil drips off of the food. Sometimes people place fried foods on a paper towel. In my opinion, the food is just setting in the oil, not really draining. So you decide how you want to drain your fried chicken. Okay, there you have it. Crispy, moist, juicy, tasty, and it's fried chicken. You can salute the colonel and bid him adieu. So now you know how to make the best fried chicken. I hope you'll fry up some soon. Be sure to check out my website, TheBigEasyChef.com. The printable recipe and instructions are there. They are for free. Everything on the website's for free. No email, no password, no obligation. Remember what they say, you are what you eat, so eat healthy. Until next time, I am The Big Easy Chef.